And the sprint race is underway. Lungard away well. We've got Schwartzman on the inside taking a look at Vips there. He's taken the lead and Schwartzman right up into the lead straight away. He's being challenged by Vips. He's all over the back of the Prima. Oh, we've got cars off in the background a little bit there. Uh, Christian Lungard lost the, lost the start there. And it's Robert Schwartzman off into the distance. Yuri Vips in, in second car running wide there. Uh, that's a Red Bull livery car there. One of the uh, high techs. Uh, we've got a spinner there. It's an, uh, oh dear, it's a UNI Virtuosi facing the wrong way. Well, it looked like a fairly clean start to begin with, but then it all kicked off going into turn three. Brilliant start from uh, Schwartzman, who's found himself in the lead of this race. But I think you're right, as you say, one of the you and I virtuosi cars spun round. I would imagine it's Guan Yu Zhou then. It is our championship leader. This is disastrous for Zhou. Big damage for uh, for Zhou there. And Roy Nassani in the dams as well. He is off. Doesn't look like he's going to get his car started. So we've lost two drivers already now then. Seems to be able to do all right there. A little bit of a kick oh, on the wheel and goes right into the back of him. Or has he had a hit in the back as well, though? So we need the off-board angle. Uh, it's all going on. So we have got a safety car now. So the race has been neutralized. And we'll get a nice view as well to see potentially what happens in... Oh, he actually gets a little bit of uh, under-breaking. Oh, Joe, all on his own. Uh, Schwartzman seems to be untroubled. Yuri Vips not able to get a look, uh, not close enough to make a move at this stage. Uh, we've got there Oscar Piastri all over the back of the second ART. Let's see what happens along the inside then, racing Oscar Piastri uh, alongside the uh, Liam Lawson high tech there, and he's not able to get the position. Lawson winning out there. Dan Tictum's going to take a look as well on Oscar Piastri. Yeah, look out for Dan Tictum because those two battling in front of him has allowed Tictum to squeeze right up to the back of him, although he's just fallen back ever so slightly. What does Piastri want to have a do? Go down the inside on Lawson. Can he get the move done? Lawson's going to fight back though, off the road at one point. Whoa, that was close. Wheel to wheel. Oscar Piastri round the outside. Can he have another look? As Dan Tictum's getting in on the action as well. Slight touch there, I think, between Dan Tictum and Oscar Piastri. And Oscar Piastri's going to go for it again around Liam Lawson. Can he get a move here? How about it? He's just having a little look. Lawson still edging in front. He's got to cover off Dan Tictum as well. Can't just be on the attack. He's got to defend as well at this point. That's the worst part when you're a racing driver. You want to attack, then you also got to defend. But he's not giving this up into Magnus and Beckett's the hardest part oh. on this track. Can't quite get it done there. Lawson, incredibly brave to carry on through that little bit of a twitch on the front of Schwartzman. Oh, but we've got a Alessio spitter. Alessio Deleda there. Oh, he has stopped. So we've got the safety car again. Ooh. Oh, a little bit of a touch there, I think, between those two cars and Alessio Deleda reversing back on to where he should be, but unfortunately unable to get going again. As we see the Trident car of Marino Sato coming into the pits, and I, I wonder if this is a retirement or whether they're just making a few adjustments. The mechanics are, are set to work straight away on the Trident. Brilliant start from Schwarzman. He planned that perfectly. Meanwhile, Piastri all over the back of oh, Lawson. He's going once up again. the inside. He's gone up the inside. He's got the position off Lawson. Lawson was worrying about his tyres, didn't have any grip, and Piastri's making the most of that. He takes the position, and Dan Tictum's going to have a look as well. All over the gearbox then of Liam Lawson. Samaya in the gravel then, trying to get it started because he's spinning the rear wheel there. Uh, but he's beached. facing the wrong way and he is beached. So I think this may bring out a safety car for the third time. For well. sure into the pits as well. So that's interesting that he's coming in. So we've got Jack Aitken in there in the HWA car. So, oh, something wrong there with the front Ooh. wheel. Not attached properly, the front right. That's going to be uh, something the race director is going to take a look at. Oh, desperate times for Jack Aitken. Not... Not ideal. Let's hear from him. There's something under the front right. It's locked. So something under the tyre that's locked. So whether they actually fitted it correctly, but something is blocking it from rotating. I thought maybe it went on a slightly funny angle, but and it does just stop, doesn't it? Look at that. I've never seen that before in a pit lane. It literally just stops. Schwartzman again with a stellar start, just didn't like Vips was really paying attention. Looks a little bit like Piastri is going to want to make a move on Porsche. There we've got Beckman and we've got Vashur as well. well. Having had the pit stop, he's changed tyres now, so that will come to his advantage uh, pretty shortly once he gets those tyres tire, into the window. Vashur oh. right up to the back, moves down to the inside. Very difficult to overtake going through here, but he keeps it foot to the floor. Wow, that was brave from Vashur. Shaw is on a charge. Great call from the MP team to bring him in and change tyres there. Daruvla losing a spot there. I saw a car going very wide in the background. There might have been Daruvla because Vashaw has got through. Daruvla now for 11th. So Vashaw making up positions. 
Bashaw is going to have another go, though, on the slightly better tyres. Bashaw down the inside. Can he get the job done this time? It looks like he has. Is that his teammate going to come back at him down into the braking zone? Don't think he can, no. So uh, it looks like he's got the move done there. Bashaw into 10th ahead of Zendeli. Robert Schwartzman then for Prima. He's going to win at Silverstone. Robert Schwartzman wins the first sprint race at Silverstone ahead of Yuri Vips and Christian Lungard. That's your top three. What a race. So commanding, so calm from Robert Schwartzman. Uh, got the job done. Uh, such a great drive starting from P4, finishing on the top step of the podium. Good job, Robert. Good job. Good job, guys. Hello. Hello. Are you on the radio? <laughs> Classic. Got bigger fish to fry. I've got fans to wave at. He's... Sorry, guys, can't get back to you right now. Please do leave a message. <laughs> it was Robert Schwartzman then who took the win. There we go. Finger to the sky, revving up the crowd. Piastri uh, with 83 points and Schwartzman 81 uh, with Joe uh, 78, unable to score any points this morning. We hope you'll join us for the second sprint race of the weekend later on this afternoon. All the action to come here at Silverson Circuit. Goodbye.